Hey, what's up everybody? It's David McGill. Now today is Sunday, December 8, 2019. And yesterday the news broke that the federal government is charging the former executives of Celadon Trucking in a $60 million fraud case. Now, in this video, I wanna explain what happened at Celadon, um, what's next for Celadon Trucking, and also what, what this means for their company drivers and leased operators. Now, Celadon Trucking is it's a public company that's located here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, what a public company is, is it's a company that sells stock on the New York Stock Exchange, and they sell that to you know outside investors like you and me. Now, as a company who sells stock to outside investors, um, these companies are required to report their earnings every every quarter to the outside world, and that is to make sure that we're informed about the performance of a company before we invest in the company. So. The, the whole point of it is if, if we're going to, you know, put our, you know, buy stock in Celadon Trucking, the government says, OK, Celadon, you guys have to make your information public so that the outside world knows if you're doing good or if you're doing bad um, so that they can decide whether or not they want to invest, you know, in your company. Well, back in 2016 or so, the reports that Celadon Trucking were reporting, you know, to the world, um, were fraudulent. Um, at the time, like there were some, they had some losses relating to like the values of the trucks that they had. But instead of, you know, disclosing those losses to the world, they basically used their accountants to, you know, cover up, you know, cover up those losses. So they're basically being charged with using their accountants to cover up those losses and presenting you know, the information to the world um, that, you know, that wasn't true. If you lost $10 million, but you, you know, put your financial reports together in a way that doesn't show that you lost $10 million and you present them to the world, me as an investor, if I don't know you're doing bad, I have no reason to, um, you know, sell my stock. Um, and, and ultimately I may even buy more stock, but the information I'm using to decide whether to buy or sell stock, you know, is all fraudulent. So, in order to not, you know, defraud, you know, investors and stakeholders, like I said earlier, the government, they require that these public companies disclose their information. So as you probably suspect, you know, this is illegal. So, you know, so what will happen is the FBI, the Department of Justice, you know, as well as, you know, like the Securities and Exchange Commission, they'll, they'll charge these companies, you know, these executives with, you know, with fraud. And, you know, oftentimes, um, you know, there's jail time, there's federal jail time that, you know, it goes with, you know, a lot of these, these, these type of crimes. So with a case like this, Celadon specifically, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up going bankrupt um, or filing, filing for bankruptcy here soon, because if the fraud, if it's a $60 million case that they're charged with, um, you know, depending on the company's operations, they, they, they may not have the money um, to sustain, you know, all the negative publicity as well as, you know, the, the governmental indictments. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if they file bankruptcy as their next step. Now, if they file bankruptcy, what does that mean for their company drivers and, you know, lease operators associated with Celadon? Well, unfortunately, then these people will be without jobs. So if you're, you know, if you're a company driver for Celadon and, you know, they file bankruptcy, you know, they go out of business, now you're, you're without a job. And the unfortunate, even more unfortunate part is, you know, if you have, you know, money invested in your 401k that's invested in Celadon stock, that stock is now worthless. So essentially, you know, you, you lost your, you know, your retirement savings because, you know, this company went out of business and it was, you know, due to fraud. Now, also, if you're a leased operator with Celadon, and let's say you've been paying your uh, maintenance account every week, chances are, you know, that money, like you, you're gonna lose out. You're gonna lose out on that money because, you know, the money that Celadon has is gonna go out to. It's gonna go to paying out all the different creditors that they have in line if they file bankruptcy, and those creditors 
have certain priorities. Once, so, once their assets are sold, meaning you know, once their trucks are sold, um, and you know, the assets are liquidated at the company level, the money that they, the proceeds from those sales, are gonna go to you know the first people in line, um, the first creditors in line, and once their debt is satisfied, they'll move on to the you know the second highest priority you know debtors in line. So um, the money will just be dispersed, and once the money runs out, then that's it. So if you're the third person in line to be paid, but all of their money went to the first two people, then you're gonna get the short end of the stick. So you know this this gonna have a a, a huge impact, you know, on, on families across the country who, you know, are, are tied to Celadon Trucking. So I'll be following this story pretty closely and sharing my sharing my thoughts with you guys online. And I'll also be providing some information on, you know, how to prevent a similar situation from happening to you, um, you know, if you're leased on to a company to hopefully help you guys along the way who are looking to get started in the trucking industry.